Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to be learning a very important part of programming. We're going to be learning what's called the try catch statement. So let's go ahead and create a new project and basically what the try catch statement does is you put a block of code inside of your try statement and what it does is it test it runs the code to see if it gets any errors. Now the reason you would want to put it in a try statement is um, let's say you have some code that you know may return an error based on cer certain circumstances you'll want to put that in a try catch statement so that it, if there's an error happening uh, your program will not crash and it will catch the exception and it will keep running as normally so let's come over here to our toolbox and we will add a list box and a button So we'll click button. So we'll set the text of button to add all and we'll set the name to button add. So let's go ahead and double click on add all so it'll open up our um, form one class. And let's go ahead and create an array. So private my array as integer and let's go ahead and give it some values so we will have 5 4 3 2 and 1 okay so whenever they click add it's going to add all of the items in the array to the uh, list box so for uh, let's just do index as integer and we'll set it equal to 0 and we want to go to what well we have 0 1 2 3 4 so 0 to 4 what we want to do is list list box 1 dot items dot add and we'll go ahead and add my array at index Okay, so let's go ahead and run this, and it should be working perfectly. If we click Add All, we get 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now, if we go from 0 to 5, we're going to get an out-of-bounds um, error, because this only goes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and if we try to access 5, so when we try to access index 5, we get what's called an out-of-bounds error, which means that you're trying to access some memory that isn't there. So let's go ahead and run this. And you can see that if we add all, the program freezes up and it's not working, and it crashes and it shows us an index out of range exception, and it was unhandled. And it says the index was out of bounds of the array. So what we can do to keep this error from crashing, crashing our program is enclose it in a try uh, try statement. So we got we put try before it, and then after it after it we put catch and then end try so this is the very basic try catch statement so it's going to try this code right here and if anything happens that causes an error what we want to do is show a message box so message box and then we will say an error has occurred I think that's how you spell occurred so let's go ahead and run this and you can see when we click add all it says an error has occurred so what it does is it goes through and it adds everything perfectly and then once it accesses its um, index which is out of bounds uh, as five it's going to go ahead and an error is going to happen and this right here is waiting for that error and it's going to catch it and when it catches an error it's going to do whatever code is inside of the catch statement so we'll go ahead and run that again so what happens is it, it runs perfectly fine and we get the results that we want, but then it stops itself before the program just crashes completely. So practice a couple try-catch statements. You may even be able to add them to a program that you've already made, which will make it run a lot better and it'll keep errors from happening. Uh, well, the errors will still happen. They'll just be handled. So 
once you've um, got the basics of the try catch down, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial and we're going to be learning more about these.